abolish the federal and state financial incentives that have turned child protective services into a business that separates families for money. I have witnessed such injustice and harm brought to so many families that I am not sure if reform of the system is even possible. The system cannot be trusted. It does not serve the people. It obliterates families and children simply because it has the power to do so. What I have said to you in these few minutes is that we must confront the fraud in Child Protective Services. Child Protective Services seizes children using the very system that is paid for by the taxpayer who actually believes it is used to protect abused and uh, neglected children. The bureaucracy of workers benefit financially by a system that converts children into cash while destroying their families and their lives. No child who emerges from the system can ever be sound or whole. Many disappear and never are ever heard from again. God will not stand for what is happening to our children and our families. His heart beats for these children. He will lift up the downtrodden. What is happening in America regarding child protective services is a criminal political phenomenon and it must be brought to an end. Please join Children me. into cash. Uh, we have Patricia on the line. Uh, good morning, Patricia. Good morning, Will. We, uh, certainly you're going to be one of the speakers today, and I, I think you're going to address the, the money factor. Can you try to encapsulate before we take a break what what that's all about? What is this, what is this money factor? What is the influence of money into this Child Protective Services? Well, the, in 1997, when Bill Clinton passed the Adoption Incentive, the Adoption and Safe Families Act, which is also known as the Adoption Fund of Payments, um, the government is getting these enormous amounts of grants called awards for the amount of kids they have being put into uh, being adopted out. Now, in order to get these grants, this um, the amount of adopted Children needs to multiply year after year, um, and the children youth are targeting low-income families. They are going after people who do not have the means to fight the system. They are fabricating, fabricating all of these allegations, and ultimately they are legally kidnapping these children, all to feed the greed. You know. One of the things that I brought up, this program that might have started out for altruistic reasons, and certainly I don't think anybody necessarily goes out and says, okay, they're going to kidnap children. But over the years, because there's so much money involved, it seems as though, like everything else uh, very often, that what starts out with for good reasons gets to be bastardized. And and that's what you're going to talk about. And uh, um, certainly we're going to take a break. Patricia, thank you for calling in. We're going to look forward to you talking today and educating us a little bit more on that whole money factor. When we come back, we're going to have Jesse Epps. Uh, you're listening to Sanity Check, 888-577-4487.